Hey guys, welcome to Fishing with the Case. If you're new to the channel, my name is Johnny, and today I'm gonna show you a little snippet from a live session where I chat with my buddy Alex on his three favorite uh, finesse techniques. On the uh, the drop shot stuff, are you using uh, like a, the small like circle hook or are you using like the longer um, straight chain? So I've got both. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm definitely not a drop shot expert. But if I'm fishing like more open water or dragon where I, you know, not maybe I'm on rock or something like that, I like to nose hook. Just feel like you get, you can hook 10 times more fish, right? If they even look at it, they get hooked. Um, and I also use the, the nose hook when I'm bed fishing and drop shotting. So that's nice. Um, the straight shank EWG style I use when I'm like cover shotting, basically, when I'm fishing a heavier stuff, brush piles, heavier rock, uh, up shallow. I really like that that weedless approach. Speaking of uh, weedless, do you do uh, weedless neds and just open hook neds? Yeah, um, you know, I, I don't think those weedless neds are all that much more effective as far as getting in cover. Uh, if I'm worried about hanging up with a ned rig, I'll just throw a shaky head, honestly. Um, I don't see all that many times where you won't get bit on a shaky head if they're willing to bite a ned, so. Gotcha. Cause most people are doing a net. I guess, I mean, people, most, I say most people are doing a net because of finesse, but they also fish a shake head because of finesse. You know? Yeah, that's, that's probably the Alabama in me coming out with, with the shaky head because it's just, it's such a staple down there and I'm so comfortable with it. I also really like the Ned rig, but I have so much confidence with a shaky head just being able to fish it through almost anything. I mean, fish it through a lay down and rock and just with the Ned, you've got an exposed hook and you're just, you're asking to get hung up. So. I would think, um, you know, fishing from the back of the boat, I mean, I would think a, uh, a shaky head would work well with it being more of a finesse technique and not getting hung up, right? Yeah, no, it, it's uh, it's pretty much the reason that I top 20 or actually, I think I got 12th place at the Bass Nation Championship, uh, state championship last year. I caught one keeper on the first day and it was on a shaky head. And then the second day, uh, I caught another one on it, and that that really is what got me a check. Was it was literally shaky. So I'm I'm a big fan. What would you say your uh, your lightest shaky head is, and what's your heaviest? Um, I'll fish an eighth ounce if I'm fishing really shallow, and then a quarter ounce is probably my heaviest because I'm never fishing the shaky head out of the back of the boat. I'm just not comfortable shake fishing it more than like 15, 16 feet. Yeah. And it's all on a spinning rod, right? Yeah. Now you can, you know, they make magnum shaky heads. They make really big version of the shaky head for ledge fishing, which I, I know is a good technique as well. I just haven't, haven't used it all that much. Gotcha. Welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that little snippet. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along in our journey. And if you want to see the full video um, from that live session, go ahead and check out the link in the description.